going everyone? Mega Masher is here and I bring back Pokemon Showdown Ballast Hackmons. And the team that I put together is dedicated to a Halloween theme. You see here, let me just go to Team Builder there real quick. And let me just show you guys who I'm using. So I got Mega Bayonet, I got Koopa Unbound, I got Mega Gengar, I got Giratina, I got Evelto, and I got Hydreigon. So pretty much my whole team is dark and or ghost type Pokemon. So that right there is pretty damn Halloween-y. Even though I don't think that's really a word. So with that being said, how about we go ahead and look for a battle and I will be right back when we about are about to commence in one. Tongue tied already and we haven't even got started! Damn! Okay guys, we are back. And let's see what the opponent is carrying. So we got Groudon, we got Kyogre, Mega Gengar, we got Age Slash Sylveon, and Shuckle. God freaking darn it. That is not cool. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna go with Giratina. Oh my god. Okay. So let's go for Trick. Or not Trick, sorry. Uh, Stealth Rocks, because we need them entry hazards up right away. And I get burned right off the bat. God freaking darn it. Well, it's a good thing that I'm not having any special, any attacks, period. So, I mean, the burn still sucks because that's residual damage and shit. Fuck. But I got Recover to somewhat keep me healthy here. So, let's see here. I'm going to go for that Recover because I really cannot afford to lose. Oh, shit. Quick Claw. Okay. That's a little bit unconventional. Okay. Shadow Force. And it's somehow avoided. Yo, what the fuck? Okay. Well, I got an idea here. I'm going to switch into Hydreigon to take that. And does absolutely nothing. So, let me see here. I'm actually going to predict him to go into Sylveon, so I'm going to go for Volt Switch. Oh, never mind. He's got King Shield. Why does he have Protect and King Shield on uh, Aegislash at the same time? Are you serious? The fuck, man? Okay. Okay. I see, uh... I see what's going on here. Well, this... I got an idea. I got an idea. And that does absolutely nothing. And I got the fucking Toxic... Boost going, holy shit. Or not Toxic Boost. Poison Heal. This right here is what's going to make Evaltol incredibly annoying to deal with. Oh, man. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, he's got Primordial C going. And, of course, I missed my fucking Leech Seed. Are you fucking serious? Damn it. Oh, that was, that was, uh... That was poor shit and a half. God. I'll go for Spiky Shield just to scout what he wants to do. And, yep, Steam Eruption. Of course. Oh, God. Alright. Well, send Giratina back. Oh, shit! Okay. Things are about to get pretty damn interesting here. So, question is, what is uh, Mega Gengar going to do here? You know, I could almost go into my Hoopa Unbound to take a Ghost-type move, because I'm willing to bet he's going to fire off a Ghost-type move. Oh, he's got Protect going. What the fuck? All right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go for King Shield. The reason I have King Shield on Hoopa Unbound is because any physical attacks is going to drop... There you go. It's going to drop their attack by two stages, therefore making my defense stat a little bit less exploitable. Not even sure if that's a word, but whatever. And pursuit. That's not going to do anything, but that's going to do a lot. That's going to do. That's going to take you down, son. Down to the ground. Yes. And my computer's lagging like a piece of shit. Fuck. Get your shit together. 
there's someone inside you. Man. Okay. Sometimes. Okay. Things things are looking pretty sexy. What's gonna happen next? Hate to be that start timer douche, but come on, man. We're we're doing this live. Oh shit, we got the shuckle action. We got shuckle. Shuckle uckle. Okay. Well gonna bring Giratina back in. See what he wants to do in Leech Seed. Bounces! Yo! Oh! There we go. So I'm almost willing to bet that. And he forfeited. He fucking forfeited. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. So, that was our first battle, and it seemed pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, as long as I knew to keep my Giratina alive, since that's magic bounce, I would be safe from entry hazards. And I have, I have that and my physically defensive eval skill is sort of like my core, right? Even though I'm incredibly weak to fairies, I do have the likes of Mega Gengar to help deal with it, and I also have a Gunk Shot on my Hoopa Unbound that will definitely, definitely soften up fairy-type Pokemon. So, with that being said, I am going to look for another battle, and I will be right back to you when we commence in one. Okay, guys, we are back again in another battle, and whoa, we got six fucking Megas up in this bitch. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is gonna get fucking ugly, I'm willing to bet. This is gonna get fucking ugly, but I'm gonna go into my Giratina because I need to set up them stealth rocks right away. So I'm gonna go right for the rocks. Question is what? What can uh, what can uh, stealth? Whoa! Holy shit! God dang! That does a lot of damage. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! This this isn't good. Let's rock, dude. Let's do this. <laughs> Just like Brock Lesnar. Let's do this. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch into my High Dragon and fucking blow Se Mega Sceptile back. And I do exactly that! And I got the contrary going myself! <laughs> this is gonna get good, this is gonna get good. <laughs> we got Mega Ch- Now, here's the thing, here's the thing. I'm at plus two, well now I'm at plus four, that just- that's gonna be complete obliteration, I think. Holy fuck. And the thing of it is, Hydreigon's bulky enough to take a hit. So, let's see. No! Shit! Are you fucking serious? Well, at least it's not a dragon resist anymore. Yes! Oh! Oh! I am plus six max the fuck out. Let's do this! <laughs> yes! This is fucking gold. Yes! Oh! <laughs> oh, this is good. Swampert Mega. Hey, Swampert Mega. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Oh, you're leaving so soon? Bye, Swampert. And Garchomp Mega. What is he going to do? Oh! Oh! That was GG! That was fucking nice, man. Holy shit. Yes. That was fast-paced balls to the walls action right there. Holy fuck. Okay. Well, with that being said, how about we dive into yet another battle? Let's do this. Well, for a battle now, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back again with yet another sexy as hell. That was Hackmon's Battles. Let's fucking do this. And as per usual, I'm going to lead with my Giratina. My sturdiest lead ever. Oh, shit. We got the Gengar. We got Gengar. What the fuck is it going to do? What's it going to do? Shadow Ball. Whoa. 
That's not going to do a lot of damage. But you want to know something? <laughs> you guys want to know something? Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. I'm just switching to Hoopa Unbound. And yeah, he's got the Dark Pulse. But I got something for you. I got something. I got something. I'm going to go for King Shield. And he's going to go get go for the Shadow Ball. And not going to do anything. And he's going to block by King Shield. And there goes Hyper... Not Hyperspace. The Speed Boost. Hyperspace Fury is what I'm going to fucking use. Put up your dukes. You just got taken down by my six arms, son. Yes. Fuck yeah. Hoopa. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, gunk shot. Can we gunk shot? Yes, we can. And we took down Xerneas. Yes. Oh, hoo -hoo. <laughs> yes. This is so good right now. Oh, shit. We got Mewtwo. We got Mewtwo. What's going to happen? What is going to happen? Oh, Mega Mewtwo. Why? You just switched in. I don't know. You just got taken down, son. Damn. And another fucking victory by forfeit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Dude, that was fucking creamy as hell. Oh, shit. That was gold right there, man. That was fucking gold. Okay, well... Out of those three battles, we emerged the victors. It just goes to show how much kick-assery Halloween has. And I don't think that's a word either. But anyways, I'm gonna end it as far as battles go and show you guys what I'm sporting here real quick. So let's go. So let's see, the first member that we got is going to be our Mega Bayonet, and we have Citrus Berry along with Unburden, and Unburden, uh, the reason I have Citrus Berry is because it's going to be a consumable item, and when you're at 50% uh, or below of your health, I believe, let's just highlight that real quick, uh, yeah, when you're at below 50% of your health, uh, you end up getting 25% of your health back, and then when your item is gone, that's when Unburden activates, and it doubles your speed when your item is lost or consumed. <laughs> I think you know where I'm going with this. We got Belly Drum, which cuts your HP in half and maximizes your attack, and that's when Citrus Berry kicks in. We got Shadow Claw for Stab, which is a very, very crazy, powerful move. We got Drain Punch to give you that amazing unresisted fucking coverage not to mention some crazy health regain and then we got extreme speed to pick off any weakened opponents that would otherwise cause you problems if they somehow were able to outspeed you and the EV spread is pretty simple we got an adamant nature to give you max attack we got 252 into its HP not 252 into its HP sorry 252 into attack 4 into special defense and 252 into speed that's it that's it for Mega Bayonet, and we didn't get to use Mega Bayonet, which kind of sucked, but whatever, whatever. Up next, we got Hoopa Unbound, in my opinion, the MB fucking P of this team, because we are going to be going with Life Orb as a way to deal more damage at the cost of 10% of your health. We're going to be going with Speed Boost, which means your speed gets boosted up by one stage at the end of each turn, and this goes very well with King Shield. Because King Shield protects you from attacks, and any contact moves lowers their opponent's attack by two stages. And considering that this thing has a very shitty base 60 defense, that's actually going to be quite the nice buff right there. So the first move that we got is going to be Hyperspace Fury. Base 100 power dark type move that doesn't miss, and it also breaks through barriers. And stuff like protect, King Shield, all that stuff. But, be warned, it does lower your defense by one stage. Up next, we got Gunk Shot, because Gunk Shot is to punish fairies, as you've seen the way we destroyed Xerneas. Up next, we got Zen Headbutt for secondary stab that destroys anything that Hyperspace Fairy and Gunk Shot can't. And then, we got the EV spread. We got Adamant Nature to maximize your attack. And then we got 252 into its attack, 4 to special defense, and 252 into speed. We could get away with running an adamant nature, considering that speed boost is going to be boosting up our speed. We have no way of boosting our physical attack. So there you go. Up next, we 
we got Gengar Mega. And we got Spooky Plate, because Spooky Plate turns, gives a 20% boost in the power of Ghost-type moves. And this also makes Judgment, which is a Normal-type move, a Ghost-type move. So factor in the Spooky Plate st uh, boost, and then Stab boost. It's gonna be some nasty fucking power right there. And then we got Prankster to give any non-attacking moves plus one priority. And considering that we got Shell Smash, we're gonna need to get off a of Shell Smash as soon as possible. And what that does is it lowers your defense and special defense by one stage, but increases your attack, special attack, and speed by two stages. After that, this thing is pretty much set to sweep. So yes, we got Judgment as our Ghost-type stab. We have Aura Spear to complement Ghost and Fighting-type coverage, which is unresisted. And then we got Blue Flare, just to basically have that extra bit of firepower, no pun intended because it's a fire-type move. Base 130 fire type move with an 85% accuracy and a 25-20% chance to burn. That's crazy. And then we're going to be going with the modest nature because with Shell Smash, you're going to be hitting over 700 speed in just one turn. And we're going to be needing as much special attacking power as possible. So, we got a modest nature which increases your special attack. We have 252 special attack, 4 special defense, and 252 speed. Up next, I'd like to introduce you to one of two of my defensive core Pokemon in this team, Giratina. This is specially defensive with a calm nature, 248 EVs into, into its HP, 8 into its defense, and 252 into its special defense. We got leftovers to allow you to have passive recovery at the end of each turn. We got Magic Bounce, which, which reflects any entry hazards, leaf seed status moves, anything back at the opponents, which will definitely frustrate them. We got Topsy Turvy to basically turn any sweepers, any stat boosts that would otherwise threaten this team into basically nothing. Actually, it's less than nothing. Say if someone boosts their attack up by four stages, Topsy Turvy reverses that, and now it's minus four attack. See where I'm going with this? This thing's not gonna let you set up anything. And what's worse, we got Stealth Rocks. Stealth Rocks is a great entry hazard to have because this damages Pokemon according to their type. They're super, if they're weak against rocks, Stealth Rocks is gonna do quite a bit of damage. But either way, Stealth Rocks is such a great entry hazard. One of the best moves in my opinion. And what's even better is we got Roar to go in conjunction with Stealth Rocks because, say, also, if you have uh, Pokemon that are trying to set up on you, you don't always have to go for Topsy Turvy, you can just phase them the fuck out. And especially with Rocks on the field, that's going to stack up in damage big time. And then lastly, we got Recover because we need to keep this monster healthy. And Recover is the best way to do it. Heals your maximum HP by 50%, which is very, very nice. And I already went over the EV spread early on. So, let's move on to Evalto, which is the physical counterpart of this dual defensive core. And this thing, holy fuck, man. This is crazy right now. So, we got Toxic Orb to inflict you with the poison condition. But get this, we got Poison Heal. And what Poison Heal does is it heals one eighth of your maximum HP. That is insane. And the first move that we got is going to be Spiky Shield, which is a better version of Protect. And any Pokemon that makes contact with you loses one eighth of their health. Up next, we're going to go for Oblivion Wing because Oblivion Wing is great stab. And this is also a great way to steal back some HP as this steals 75% of the HP that you deal in damage to begin with. Especially if it's a super effective hit, that's going to be doing a lot of damage and you're going to be giving that a lot of health. Up next, we have Roost because Roost is a great way to heal yourself. It heals 50% of your maximum HP. So, couple that with Toxic Orb and Poison Heal healing you up. And then, lastly, we got Leech Seed. Leech Seed saps one-eighth of the opponent's health and turns it back into health restoration. So think about this for a second. Poison Heal is activated. Leech Seed is on the opponent. You're going to be getting back so much health, and you can just use Spiky Shield every second turn to steal more health 
and get so much health regained, it's not even funny. Like, this thing is almost busted as fuck. And couple that with the fact that it gets Oblivion Wing, which is a very good, very, very good move to have. Because, one, it's flying type, and there's no immunities against flying type moves. And this steals 75% of the HP away from that, from the fact that you inflict damage on the opponent. So, like I said, especially if it's a super effective hit, 75% of the damage you cause gets converted into health restoration. Then you get roofs. You, just, you guys get where I'm going with this. This thing is not going to die. It's not going to die. And then, the EV spread. We got Bold Nature to maximize its defense and lower its attack. We're not going to be needing the attack. We got 248 into its HP, 252 into its physical defense, and 8 into special defense. And then lastly, possibly the come from behind MVP ever. We have Choice Scarf Contrary High Dragon. What the fuck? Where do I even begin with this thing? So we got Choice Scarf to lock you into one move, but boost your speed by 50%. We got Contrary to reverse stat changes. And considering that moves like Draco Meteor and Overheat, they drop your special attack by two stages. But thanks to Contrary, it reverses that. So you actually get a boost from Draco Meteor and Overheat. That is fucking insane. Draco Meteor is hardcore stab. Base 130 special attack. And this right here is just, oh my god. With fairies out of the way, you can just spam Draco Meteor and it, it's fucking over. It's over. And then we got Overheat to hit things for massive damage that Draco Meteor can't. And it's fire type, so that's really good coverage. And then we got Volt Switch. Let's say if you're against a fairy, you no, know, like you obviously don't want to get destroyed. You can just Volt Switch the fuck out. Like, yeah, see if I, I'm not taking a four times super effective hit to the face, thank you. And then we got Trick, because Trick is great for not only swapping items with your opponents, but because we have Twist Scarf, which locks you into a move, you cripple a wall, which is fucking amazing. And something else that's amazing is the EV spread. So we got Timid Nature to maximize your special attack. Or no, maximize your speed, sorry. And we got max special attack, max speed, forward to special defense. And there you have it. That right there is my Halloween themed team! Woo! Bell's Hackmons, baby. So I go hope you guys enjoyed this special video on Pokemon Showdown. It is around that time of Halloween. It's midnight, according to my clock. How appropriate, because it's now officially Halloween. So be sure to give this a thumbs up for the fact that it's Balanced Hack Months and for the fact that it's Halloween. Let's see if we can aim for 35 likes. I think we can do this, guys. So be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the Masher Army as we are insane, appreciative, supportive, and we just keep getting better and better one day at a time. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you guys next upload! Woo!